Jay Wilson was talking about yeah. get that diesel egg plane. And it took me this whole time, the Solera 500 Yes, L. yes, yes. That thing, I, I'm, hoping, insane. I'm hoping that thing comes to fruition Five somehow, miles. some way. Guy says North Korea. If I part, if I posted all the uh, parts of the Blackbird on sale, everyone would sell it. A guy named Kim in North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. It's true. Oh man, Kimmy J. Kimmy J. <laughs> Kimmy J. Username Kimmy J. <laughs> yeah. How Dude. rich is this? My guy? phone would just start dinging. <laughs> Kimmy J. Kimmy J. Kimmy J. <laughs> Kimmy J. Too. Man, a lot yeah. of parts selling off his Blackbird. Yeah. <laughs> Why does he want the blueprints? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I think I'd get in trouble for that. You might. <laughs> it's like that guy that tried to sell that. Was it like an old, it was like an old, like, I forget what it was, like fighter jet, like an F5 or something. He tried to sell it to Iran. He's <laughs> like, the, he's like one of the first people to get charged with treason in like a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 1800s. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay. The Solera 500 is what yes, Jay Wilson's talking about. I love about. that plane. It's a diesel. It's a weird shape, and that kind of aligns with like that um, uh, super efficient Cirrus hack body. So if you look in like the um, aerodynamics for naval aviators, they sh- they start talking about different um, fuselage uh, shapes and things like that that enhance air. Basically, you want the longest. <clears throat> You want the longest fuselage body you can because that obviously makes the straightest flow for the air. You can have this. You can have the same overall like um, frontal area, but if you make the body of it, that means the taper is more uh, gradual, which means the air f- flows and you have less uh, pressure differences. Um, and this airplane does that. So that's why it's kind of got that egg shape. They say 460 miles an hour and about 25 miles of the gallon yeah. on this thing on one. I think one. one it's a diesel single engine. diesel pusher yeah yeah so and it, it's canard configuration yeah. like a piaggio yeah, yeah. so ugly as sin but well, efficient. anything efficient yeah. is yeah i don't yeah. care anything, what it looks like no exactly. if it gives me those stats right. i don't care yeah, yeah. Or, what is it 25 uh what's the, the operating it's cost? the same thing with fluid dynamics with with boats too longer the that's why cigarette longer boats the boat. have that look yeah. that's yep. it, that's what, cigarette that's, boats yeah that's that's what i meant to say well, i don't know what i said but that's yep. what i said and the longer the longer yachts are usually quicker yeah, right, exactly. So, yeah, you get some more mass with it and things like that, but that transition of that fl- the fluid dynamics, like Rob said, that, that's called the Sears hack body. That I think th- that's the two gentlemen who, who came up with the um, equation for this. But, yeah, it's going to have the, the most um, – it's going to be the most efficient for a given um, bunch of reasons, I guess. 18 to 25 miles per gallon, $320 operating costs, three, $328. An hour. Hourly, yeah. yep. Max cruise speed of four sixty. God, that thing is ugly as hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, like a, I'm trying to find the 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 range though on it though. That's that's what the I. The range is know. impressive. I, if I well, remember I'm, right. Yeah. Uh, twin stage turbocharging allows for forty to fifty thousand feet max cruise altitude. Um. Forty five hundred. Nautical miles. That's what oh. that was always what's, the impressive. Uh, what's the range on the Lear? Fifteen hundred. Wow. So I mean, you need to be. Times. You need to be yeah. landing. So well, that think thing about will this. smoke that like by a lot. Range. What's the speed well, difference? It's basically the same speed. Same speed. Almost. I mean, the Lear is like and sixty what's, knots what's faster. You've got to go way higher in that to get those speeds, though, right? No. No. Oh, we're no. actually, if we go to like our most efficient. There. That. There's a lot to that question. The higher we go, our true airspeed, because our thrust, and which is why I don't know that this is possible. That's uh, let me say that I don't know that all these specs are possible. Yeah, we can't create this stuff with a twin turbo fan engine. Now, granted, it's an older design, and but at forty to fifty thousand feet, and you got a mechanical prop out there spinning with a twin turbo diesel engine. I just I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to believe, but. I'm sure they said that to the Wright brothers. That's yeah. not gonna fly. It's not That's possible. not gonna yeah. fly. Yeah, heavier than air. It's never gonna work. It's never it's, gonna work. I get it. I get it. it. It's hard to believe, but if it's true, like that's that'd be pretty. That'd be game changing. That'd be game changing. Um, Would you get your instrument then, Scott? No, I'd just hire somebody to fly me around in that okay. thing. Because operating cost. What's the operating cost on the Lear? Um. Well, I don't know what the. 
I, I, operating costs probably around thirty five hundred. Yeah, hour. and what's that? Three hundred and something. Three twenty eight a tenth. So ten a tenth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one tenth the operating cost. Yeah, but you have to buy the plane. No, I charter the plane. Oh, I see. Yeah, FA is not going to let you charter that single engine. Not at fifty thousand feet. Could because I, here's the thing. Hold on, hold on. Your, everything. Your yeah, yeah. You too. You go have <laughs> right, fun. Right, send yeah. me yeah. GoPro it up. Let You're me fly send out me an egg. Yeah, and your egg. Yeah. Oh God. Got you covered, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Um, probably glides forever too. That's you the lost problem. The engine, you can go forever. That's the problem. If you're up there, what's creating the pressurization? What's creating? What's compre- What's how, how is it pressurized? That's what I need to know. Okay. I don't really care as long as it works. You only have one engine, so if that one engine fails, it doesn't work. Your glider, which yeah, your glider, glide. but you, not only glide. You don't want it to be an efficient glide. You need it to get down to breathable air in like four minutes. Like legally, that's a legal. You have to be down to like below fifteen thousand so, feet in four minutes. That's yeah. You can't exceed the VNE airplane and ripping the wings off. You know that red line on the Nobody airspeed cares. indicator. Nobody cares about that <laughs> suggestion. Suggestion exactly. Okay, instrument rating. Be, don't be. Yeah, don't you be reel us back in the, here. Don't be trashing the airplane. instrument rating. I um, want one. Okay. I want one. Okay. We get, uh, we get one if it comes to market and it's. Why do you think you won't be able to charter it? As all. No, no, no. All these things, they don't work. They, they all Your Venn diagram, what meets in the middle, which is what maybe the FAA wants, this is what, this is ideal FAA, this is ideal consumer. In the middle is where you need to be, and you're way over here where a consumer wants. You're Lee, not even close. Lee's to great, great grandfather was right there with the, why? With the right brother saying you, the same thing. This yeah, won't fly. Yeah, yeah. This won't fly. Yeah. 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 No, I know. I'm, I, I, I don't know why you'd want that when you just have a horse. <laughs> <laughs> bicycles guys that's where it's yeah, at yeah. it's multi-generation yeah. aviation this pessimism machine. perfectly <laughs> yeah. machined yeah. look at the ground transportation secretary is never going to allow a, a, a thing to go in the air like it's you not ge- going to happen you generation charlie's what is wrong with you guys <laughs> alpha bravo charlie yeah. <laughs> um it's I would need to see the, the kind of the safeguards where the pressurization, how that all works in order for you to go. Maybe to they that. have like an air tank in there. We have air tanks. Yeah. But, so but, there you so go. So that oxygen mask that you put on on an airliner, that's the same type that we have in the Lear. That is only designed for you to be able to breathe at 25,000 feet. It's not designed for, for use above 25,000 feet. So, you know, most airliners, you know, they're in the, the, the mid, mid thirties, you know, on most flights, you know, you get your seven threes, you know, they'll go up to 40, 41 on these commercial flights. But as soon as we have immediate action items, uh, memory items that we need to do, if there's an emergency depressurization or loss of cabin pressure, and we can get below the, that threshold pretty quickly, but you only have so many minutes, like we only have 10 minutes of oxygen off that system that drops down, you yeah. put on secured over years for the other person, all that stuff. We only have 10 minutes of that. So, and it's not designed above 25,000 well, feet and we're at 45,000. Okay. So we have to get to 25 and you, I mean, and you've been breathing it for however many minutes that is. And yeah. then we got to get to 15 so you can actually breathe on your own without it. Well, somehow they launched little pods in the space where people breathe for days whatever oxygen they carry with them. So I'm pretty sure it's possible to do. Could be. Man. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. How do they, like, space, space technology? Space, 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 you're in space, space anyway above 6,000. That's true. Yeah. You just need That's, different space technology. Different, so, yeah, you just need to use the space technology. Look at the, the International Space Station has been floating up there for years. Somehow everybody's breathing around up there. There's right. a way to do it. Or is it real? Maybe it's not real. Yeah, it's fake. Yeah, you're right. You can put that in your flying banana somehow. Somebody somebody explained to me the other day that there's a, a impenetrable layer above the Earth, so we've actually never gone into space. Well, yeah, the Earth is flat. Dude. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Duh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that anyway, <laughs> that's probably one of your employees, wasn't it? Uh, close, but not quite. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sounds like one of your employees. Yeah. No, uh, close. You're, you're close. <laughs> All right. But, anyway. Well, actually, t- technically, yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, I forgot. Yes, it is one. Of them. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure there's a way you can get around it. I just, what is that going to do? The weight to carry. So if you start talking about the um, solid or liquid oxygen that you're taking, yeah. weight, all those things, you got to have a tank to hold it. How much do you need? 
Like if it takes well, long, yeah, I don't, I don't it, know how much it weighs and stuff like that. Well, but. We're talking about an airplane that doesn't sound possible. So it goes 400 knots. It do, goes to 50,000 feet on a single engine turbocharged diesel. <laughs> I just, it's, and I don't know what the gross weight on it is or anything. I'm sure that's 7,000 pounds. I'm sure it's fantasy land. <laughs> so like, let's go, let's go. It's got 10 seats and I all this I think they stuff. already flew it though. Uh, no, there, I believe there are test flights. Yeah. Yeah. But are we going to fifty thousand feet? Are we? Are these know. all just you know, R and D numbers? What does that end up being? I say it maybe ends up being three hundred knots. I maybe it's thirty five thousand feet, and maybe it'll go two thousand miles. Yeah, you, you think so? Write those down. Write, write it down, down right yeah. now. There you go. Yeah. On this day, they well, recorded. Some the audience will write it that's down. True. That, that, I don't know if you that what's that electric plane that they've been talking about for years, but. It was supposed to go like 500 uh, nautical miles and like certain speed or whatever. And like a few different airlines bought it or they pre-ordered it or whatever. And then like the actual production model only goes like 250 nautical miles. I wish we could find those notes your great, great, great grandfather wrote to the right brother right. about yeah. this thing will this never thing fly. Will never Here's fly. what it's going to do. Yeah. My horse. I didn't. It's a good thing. It's a good thing too. It's he a good was, thing he was wrong. Yeah. I'm going to amend it. I'm going to say 300 knots, 35,000, 3,000 yeah. nautical miles. I'm going to add a thousand to my original. Man. Because I think that 2000 actually, the, the, the King Air 360 ER, I think that thing goes like 2,600 miles. Nice. Now he's down low. If there's weather, they're bouncing around in it. All that stuff. No you know, icing which, equipped, though, which, on the King Airs. Yeah, absolutely. Which King Air? The 350? 360. Yeah. 360. They've renamed them. They're okay. not 200s. They're not 250s. They're 260s. Okay. And they're not 350s. They're 360s. Then there's a 360 ER, which has crazy, the, which if I won the Mega Millions, that's Extended one thing I would be getting. Range. The yeah. Mega Millions. No, you wouldn't. You yes, just, I, no. Just charter. No, no, I wouldn't. I'd be buying my own airplane. Why would, I'd, I'd why be tempted would be, to buy I'd my buy own airplane. My own, I'd buy my own why would it be a King Air? Yeah. If you can, if that you would be to... one. Of, oh, no. That's one of oh, many sorry. airplanes. Why wouldn't yeah. you just get like a... Can I fly for you? Maybe. Like a <laughs> Gulfstream 700. I don't know. He knows your instructor. He <laughs> might, <laughs> might second yeah, your guess. Your instructors suck, dude. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah. Who's to say I wouldn't? Well, okay. I probably yeah. definitely wouldn't do that. No. I mean, that's way too much money, even if you have that. What are those things like? They're like... Eighty million dollars, yeah, or something exactly. Like that. Yeah, you go. So to, even if you want the Mega Millions, you'd still be spending a large chunk of your huge chunk, almost yeah, yeah a tenth yeah. of it if you took the cash. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did anybody win last night? Oh, yeah, no. somebody in Maine. No idea. Jeez, yeah, that's somebody sucks. in Maine won. Man, so I guess I don't need to buy a ticket. Okay, uh, we got seven minutes left in this one-hour episode.